Toys. Thanks to Moose Toys for sponsoring this video. This is so super cool. No kidding, it's fluffy and so, so soft. And look what happens when you squeeze it in the ball, Maya. It comes alive! I know, it's like it's melting. What exactly is this, Lulu? Lulu? Did I hear something? Yeah, what is all this amazingness? Oh, just the coolest thing ever. It's called Foam Alive, and Chef Pierre is whipping up a whole special menu of toy food using it. No kidding, that sounds absolutely spectacular. I want a scoop of the blue blitz. Ah, voila! And now a scoop of the fuchsia flash. <sighs> Incredible! It really does melt like a real ice cream. Oh, I can make a so many scrumptious toy ice cream flavors. A fuchsia flash and lava lime. What an interesting combination that would be. Now for my next cone. A witch of flavor this time. I'll start with some lava lime. Ah, delicioso. Hmm, I'm starting to feel a little funny. So funny. Wow, this is really mesmerizing to watch. And to play with. You're telling me I haven't gotten any work done today because I just can't stop playing with it. So what kind of toy food items is Chef here whipping up with the foam alive? You know, I'm not sure. I should probably go check on him before we close for the evening though. Good idea. He might just be playing with it all too. Fabulous, simply fabulous. Now melt away, ice cream. My rainbow surprise ice cream will definitely make the menu. Hey chef, how are the recipes coming? Uh, chef, are you, are you okay? Oh, well, good morning, Molly. Molly? Uh, chef, what's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I'm in the middle of making the most exciting recipes. Ah! Watch out for the pterodactyls! Pterodactyls? <laughs> As in flying dinosaurs? Uh, Chef, I think you're losing it. I'm losing what? Hey, don't take my hat! I, I mean, I think you've come down with something. You don't look well at all. I do feel a bit odd. Oh, and you're definitely running a fever. Come on, Chef, we have to get you home. I'm no toy doctor, but I think you have a really bad case of toy pox. Ah, a toy pox? What's that? This is so easy to clean up. It doesn't stick to anything but itself. You just roll it up. Yeah, and the package says it's no mess and never dries out. You clean up yours now, Addy. Easy peasy. Done. Oh, girls, we have a disaster on our hands. Oh no, what's wrong, Lulu? I just sent Chef Pierre home with a horrible case of toy pox. Oh no, does he have the red spots on his face? Sure does. Is he running a fever? His forehead was practically on fire. And is he acting kind of crazy, like seeing things that aren't there? Oh, for sure. Unless there really are pterodactyls in the kitchen. That definitely seems like a case of toy pox. He'll need to get plenty of rest. Exactly. But I need the foam alive menu finished tomorrow. What's the rush? Well, we've advertised the new menu launch and everyone knows it starts in two days. Well, we could help. We don't have toy school tomorrow. Yeah, we'll report to work in the kitchen tomorrow and whip up an incredible menu. Oh, that would be fabulous. I'll send you girls home with some foam alive so you can start thinking about some good ideas tonight. Okay, Lulu, don't sweat it. Addie and I are on it. Okay, time to study up so I'm all ready for tomorrow. I wonder what would happen if I put foam alive in one of my sand molds. Let's try this fish. Here goes nothing. Hmm, 
where should I start? Maybe I'll see if this stuff bounces. First I'll roll it into a ball. Okay, out you come. Wow, that actually worked. Now how long before it starts melting? Ooh, there it goes. So cool. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa, it actually bounces. That's insane. I'm gonna roll you up like cookie dough now. Flat as a pancake. Now let's see if I can cut this. Whoa, fascinating. And now it's melting. I'm all cleaned up and ready for tomorrow. All done and my recipe's gonna be epic. Bring on tomorrow. I had such an extraordinary talent at ballet. Maybe I've been in the wrong profession all this time. Oh boy, Sir Pierre, what are you doing here? I leaped all the way over here on my tippy toes. Uh-huh. Well, you have the toy plaques and should be at home in bed recovering. Hmm? Oh, what in the world is going on? I'm discovering my hidden talents. Okay, Chef, <laughs> you're coming with me. I guess I'm babysitting you in the toy cafe today. Wow. I don't know what else to say. Just wow. You go and get to work. Let me know if you need anything. Come on, my little ballerina. Will do. And now I've seen everything. Okay, Addy, let's start off with your recipe. What did you come up with? Foam alive donuts. Oh, I'm on board with that. And I brought all these molds to make super fun shaped donuts. Well, let's get started then. I'm gonna make a star donut first. And I'm gonna do a heart. Super fun. Mine's just about ready. Here it goes. Whoa, your star looks awesome. Yeah, it's starting to come alive. Let's try out my heart now. It looks awesome. All right, let's get making more. This one's gonna be purple. And mine's gonna be blue. Time for the moment of truth, Addy. Amazing! Yeah, and now for mine. Voila! Let's make one more each. I'm doing this one. I'll try this star. I'm gonna do half fuchsia flash and half blue blitz. Great idea, I'm gonna do half and half too. Now time for lava lime. Mine's looking good. Let's do it, Maya. So cool! Well, I think the donuts are a success. Let's move on to your recipe now. The pterodactyls, they're everywhere! Shoo, shoo! Are we really doing this again? They're trying to take my spatula. For the last time, there are no pterodactyls in the toy cafe. It is all in your imagination. Don't move my muscle. Why not? There's a giant T-Rex behind you. And it's pink. And I think it's time to call the toy doctor. Foam Alive Cookies was a great idea, Maya. I can't believe I didn't think of this. And they had to be cool shaped cookies, of course. Well, let's see how my sunburst cookie turned out. 
Amazing! Now do your flower one. Here goes nothing. Whoa! And two more to go. I've got the butterfly. I've got the star. They look better than I even imagined. Let's split your flower one to test them out. I'm on it. Whoa, I love how it's melting. Well, I think these were a success. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Toy Doctor. I think we can do that. I must ask you a question. Yes, what is it? Do you happen to have a pair of tap shoes in my size? Oh, thank goodness I do not. Oh, what a shame. I have a feeling I'd make an excellent tap dancer, too. Okay, listen, Chef. I just clapped the phone with the toy doctor. We're done, Lulu. We're done. You let the pterodactyls in again. Shoo! Shoo! Okay. You girls already finished? We sure did. We came out with some amazing foam alive cookies for the menu. And the coolest foam alive donut. And with Chef Pierre's ice cream recipes, I think the menu is complete. Oh, that's great news, girls, because I need you to whip up one more thing. Sure thing, what is it, Lulu? Leave my hat alone, you crazy pterodactyls. Shoo, shoo. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, luckily the toy doctor has a new remedy for toy pox. Good, because it looks like we need it quickly. Exactly. So what is it exactly? The doctor said that a super cool, ultra mesmerizing foam alive kick should do the trick. Get rid of the spots, break the fever, and most importantly, stop those crazy fever induced hallucinations. Hmm, a foam alive kick. We could so do this. Come on, Addy. Thanks, girls. I really appreciate it. Ah, but don't let the T Rex in again. I better take cover. This will be perfect, Maya. A sand castle cake is definitely super cool. And what do you think of filling it with different colors of foam alive? Now that would be ultra mesmerizing. Then let's get baking. Okay. I'll start off with the purple layer. Even more, Maya. Now let's add some blue. Pat, pat, pat it down. How about the green now? Coming right up. Ooh, that green color is so electrifying. Let's top it off with the pink now. All right. A little bit more, Addy. Ooh. More, more. Some over here and some over here, some all around. Okay, I think it's done. Let's take it down to the toy cafe for the big review. Okie dokie. Okay, chef, the girls have worked extra hard on a special creation just for you. Yeah, we hope you love it. Oh, it isn't a brontosaurus, is it? And we definitely hope it cures your toy box. <laughs> No, Chef, it isn't a brontosaurus, or a pterodactyl, or a T-Rex. Is the T-Rex back? Oh, boy. No, no T-Rexes are back. Take a look, Chef. Wow! It's truly amazing! I wonder how long it'll take for it to come alive and melt. It's absolutely mesmerizing. Go ahead and dig in, Chef. Really? That's okay to do? It's working. His red spots are disappearing. They are. You do the honors, Chef. Okay. This is the best cake anyone has ever made me. Well, good. And it's definitely working. We'll have to add this to the Foam Alive menu for sure, Addie and Maya. And Chef Pierre is officially back. 
And his temperature is back to normal too. Well, what are you all doing? Let's dig into this cake and enjoy it. Okay. This is amazing. And the colors are just superb. It's like it's coming alive and melting at the same time. Ah! Not again! What? What's going on? Um, your face. Ah, a pterodactyl! Uh, did I mention that Toy Pox is highly contagious? Ah! Run for your life! Run for your life? Let's dig into the cake. 